there's a couple biopsies you can get done as well. So one is called the EMMA test. So EMMA, E-M-M-A, and that stands for Endometrial Microbiome Meta genomic analysis. So what this does is it evaluates the endometrial microbiome to determine if the bacterial environment is conductive to embryo implantation. So a similar idea. Um, Mm -hmm. It again checks the proportion of good bacteria to bad bacteria. So good bacteria obviously is associated with higher pregnancy rates. So they take some endometrial tissue via biopsy and then they analyze it to identify these bacteria and the imbalances in the endometrial microbiome, such as like low lactobacillus levels, has been linked to implantation failure and infertility. So same idea, just sort of like a different method of obtaining that endometrial tissue. So way more invasive and it's painful. Like some women, you know, have totally done it, but they're like, if I had to do it again, I would try doing something different because um, it's not comfortable. But if it, it's a good test, like if you that's what you have available and it's better for you and that's what your doctor wants to do more than you know go for it you just you have options right um the alice test so that's analysis of infectious chronic endometriitis so it detects pathogenetic bacteria responsible for chronic endometriitis so that's like persistent inflammation of the endometrial lining and it can identify those bacteria um and those are also associated with like recurrent implantation failure and recurrent miscarriage as well so again takes that sample via biopsy and um, chronic endometriitis, like it often presents without noticeable symptoms. As I was saying earlier, people walking around, they don't know they have these things, right? But it significantly affects your fertility outcomes. And again, same treatments, like uh, usually a combination of antibiotics and probiotics. Um, Sometimes depending on what's identified, they may have to like prescribe antifungals, things like that. Mm -hmm. Um, And then it improves, it usually restores balance and improves outcomes. 